Blind Pew here. This is my fifth transmission looking into alien activity in the Pleiades sector. For previous transmissions I present a link, now, for your perusal. As you know my search has led me here, to the NGC 1333 nebula in this rather odd linear pathway of stars, that lines up directly with Sol in the Pleiades nebula. We need to search for any trace of alien activity but time is of the essence as Galnut has reported that Professor Palin has gone missing back in the Pleiades, so we need to get back there soon. So without further ado, deploy SRV. Okay. I've already found something but it looks human. Need to dispatch these sentries first. They do seem quite persistent. What do they guard I wonder? Hum. A crashed human ship. Cargo rack here. Let's see what it contains. Vanadium useful. I'll have that. And back to the ship to continue the search. Salvageable wreck. Let's take a look. Quite a striking sight with the star shining through the ring system here. Some floating cargo. There so seem to be an unusual number of shipwrecks around here. I'll take the cargo. Right ho. Now to check out another moon for signs of alien barnacles. Taking a look at the system map here and in other systems the temperature range looks far too high. The discovered barnacles were in the range 190k to 390k. Am I on the wrong track? Some promising chasms ahead. Oh, uh, pull up. Yep. Yeah. These chasms appear to have the distinctly different coloration we are looking for that is often seen at barnacle discovery sites. Got to fly around looking directly at the ground for barnacle signs. Aha. Something. Looks like another crashed human ship. Why are we finding so many of these? More than I would expect. And in the cargo rack. Manganese. But the real prize. Yes. A canister of tea. I'd run out and this barnacle searching is thirsty work. I like to make my search with a nice cup of tea to hand. Okay. Still no sign of alien structures. I'm going to try and cover some ground before I decide to move on. Nothing on this plateau. Nor in this trench. This crater does not look too promising, either. Nope. A more detailed search uncovers. Nothing. Nope not even in these chasms. Time to move on.
Well, this moon has a very distinctive look to it. I'm drawn to it. Let's take a look. The purple areas seem to be some form of mineral deposit. Primalian barnacle ground I'm thinking. Yes. Looks like rich mineral deposits. We need to get down into the trenches for a good search. Yes. I've been looking for a while now. But so far, nothing. Perhaps there will be something through here. Yet still nothing. I'm getting quite despondent now. Time for a rest and then off to a new moon. I've been searching for ages and ages now. This will be the last. Down into the trenches we go. Um nothing. No. No. And, no. Some unusual surface features down there. I'll take a closer look. Interesting. But no. No evident alien structures. Oh come on. Has it all been a fool's errand? Nope. There's just nothing here. The temperatures of the landable moon seem far too high. Nowhere near the range that barnacles have been discovered in. I have to conclude there is no evidence of alien activity in this sector. Back to the Pleiades to check on this Professor Palin situation then. to jump to Maya. But hey. Take a look at the red part of the Pleiades nebula ahead. I'd not noticed how very closely it also resembles the barnacle logo. Right then. I've arrived on Maya B1BA, where Professor Palin was to build his research base prior to disappearing. I plan to have a good search to see if there is any evidence of what happened. Unfortunately it is permanently rather dark here. Now then. There is quite a substantial amount of wreckage here. Quite a lot being pitched up on the scanner. Let's be cautious. It seems to be guarded. What's that? An escape pod. Is it? Can it be? Is it Palin I wonder? Looks like there is another. I'll try and pick it up as well without destroying it. My record is not perfect in this respect, regular viewers will note. It really is very dark here. Hard to find anything at all, including the surface itself. Okay. Not finding much on the surface let's check the local area. Um. What is this? System Defense Force 2 Anacondas and a Type 9 in orbit around Maya B1BA. This feels unusual. Something is going on. Hey. What was that? It's coming from behind. I'm being attacked. Incoming missile. Turns out one was a sidewinder. 
Goodbye Sidewinder. That system defense force is just flying off into the distance. Another Sidewinder. Chi Rio Sidewinder. Aha. Uh -huh. A vulture. A fair bit more dangerous. Shields are refined finally. Looks like my cargo bay has malfunction. Okay. And you are done. Target destroyed. This is all very odd. Is it connected to Palin? Time to catch up with that fleeing system defense force. What is in the hold of the Type 9? Unfortunately I don't have a cargo scanner fitted. They've jumped. However, I do have a frame shift wake scanner fitted. Time to find out where they went. Merapi? Can it be a coincidence? Is it connected to the barnacle sites there? Let's follow them. Hopefully we will be in time to catch up. Here we go. I'm not seeing them. Am I too late? Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Oh, hang on. There they are. They seem to have split up. Let's stay on the Type 9. Where is it going? It's dropped out of Supercross at Mera P1C. Locking onto their low wake source. They seem to be flying directly to the planet. What are they up to? It's no good. I must know what cargo it is hauling. Locking onto cargo hatch. They are keen to maneuver that cargo hatch out of range it seems. Yes, they are making it very tricky. And I'm out of practice at this. I'm not really damaging it. Unfortunately I have no cargo hatch limpets. Whoa. Did he attempt to ram? Finally damaged his cargo hatch somewhat but unfortunately I have damaged his hull more. Thinking back, I should have taken out his drives first. Probably too late now he is down to 8% hull. Oh wow. This T9 has annoyed me so let's finish it. I'll never know what the cargo was. But don't think me bad. Look. I'm rescuing this stranded ass- Really though, you'd think they would be more careful. Transferring fuel. Frameship charge detected. And off they go, on their merry way. Well there is certainly a lot going on in orbit around my B1BA. Now look at this. Rescue 1 collecting a load of escape pods from a wreck. And the black box. And now a medical transport near my B1BA carrying escape pods and medical supplies. 
boasting of mission success across the comms channel. They are maneuvering. Preparing to jump I guess. I'll scan their wake as soon as they jump to find the destination. Um, interesting. Silly no. I'll follow them. Off we go. Three, two, one, engage. There we go. Pick them up again. What are they up to? Aha they've dropped out. Need to take this easy and drop out on their low wake signal. Aha. They are just plying along silently now. Maybe I've spooked them. Let's follow and see what they do. Just the two vultures left in the convoy. Hey, where did they go? No wake signal. Is it some form of advanced cloaking device? Highly I suspicious. They must be connected to the military or something. I'm calling off my search now. There is some news breaking on Galnet. Last week, the Arula's system was the site of a combat operation designed to eliminate the Blue Hand Gang, a ruthless criminal organization. One of the operation's objectives was to recover the escape pods the criminals were transporting through the system. Professor Ishmael Palin and his research team were among those rescued in the operation. He's in a delicate state at the moment, but we're confident he'll make a full recovery. The Blue Hand are opportunists, so it's hard to imagine them going to the trouble of tracking down Palin and abducting him. My guess is they bought the professor's escape pod from someone else probably without even knowing who was in it. Hopefully, the professor will be able to tell us more once he's back to full health. Well, what amazing luck that was. Let's hope Palin can tell us more. In the meantime, my investigation continues. Until next time. Good luck commanders. And I'll see you out there. Very oddly there are only two things that my scanner is picking up in the crash site. One is the cargo racks, but the other is these yellow crates. And even more strangely only the yellow crates, not these red ones. If we look at the crates we can see that they bear the company name Kane Massey on one side. I can't make out what this smaller text says. The other side shows some sort of powered screen indicating that the cases themselves are powered. What could they contain? I can't find any way to open them or recover them.